everybody. How's everyone doing? Hey, Elsa. Hey, hey. Uh, is it Hazel? Um, and Bella, how's everyone doing? Thank you for the kind words. That's so, so sweet. Um, let me actually get some of the game music going. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, and had some like productive time in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I feel like everything in Disney Dreamlight Valley is kind of weird right now because it feels like we're in that kind of place of just waiting for content, you know? Um, but yeah, today will be a nice chill stream, which I think will be fun. We'll just do kind of all of our daily tasks of the day. If we have some ideas, we can do some decorating, that kind of thing. Um, really dig my claws. No super... Uh, specific plans, but we'll just have a good time. Um, good. You need more characters. Oh, okay. Are you like newer to the game? That's a fun place to be. This piano is gorgeous. I feel like I need it. Oh my goodness. Look at the like pumpkin stenciling along the edge of the piano. That's so nice. Oh my goodness. I forgot. I do have a couple things to talk to you all about. And this, wow, today is a good Scrooge day. I haven't had this before either. Um, I am late to the party on this personal topic or on this specific topic. I knew about it, but I haven't like posted anything about it. But what is our opinion about uh, this change that was made to Moana's dress? A lot of people in the Discord have very strong opinions about it. I, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty. But it's not as detailed. It's missing like the detailing down here and the other dress, the coloration was like so much better for Moana. Um, I don't remember what I was wearing. Let me just put on some random pants. I, I kind of miss the old one. By the way, did I see the pic I posted? Okay, I did. I thought that was you. Okay, here's a thing about me. My memory is so poor. So when I saw that you said, hey, I sent a like uh, a comment in the chat saying thanks for sending it and then i was like oh my gosh i feel like this is the wrong person but i'm glad that it was you thank you for sending that um i haven't seen that hair in the game or anywhere else i wonder how people acquired that information the aerial hair is finally here i was so distracted i oh my goodness i just need to like bask in the glory of this hair i've been wanting this for ages wow but yes, I do prefer the older um, Moana dress. This is fun. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around. I'll probably come grab some of this off stream, um, but we'll check upstairs and see what we got going on. Uh, just a basic table, but that can be nice. It's nice and versatile. Um, I always get these two chandeliers almost every day and I feel like I have like five of these beds okay so we'll save our conversations with characters for a little while but first I think we should probably uh, feed all of our critter friends does everyone have their like routines for when they first log into the game like what you do and like kind of the order that you do things because I feel like I do. For some reason, when I'm going around feeding the critters, I always start in Frosted Heights. It just makes sense to me for some reason. Let's see. I need to grab some things to feed them. All right. I also definitely forgot that it was Sunday today. So I didn't feed any of the critters that were out this morning, but that's all right. We'll take all of these. And these. And I have to figure out which of the sunbirds are out and about today. Um, the emerald and the red. Okay. We can also grab that. Right. I think my valley is also a little bit messy because I know I didn't clean up any night thorns yesterday. I can't remember if I did the day before. Here's one of the foxes. But yeah, 
I mean, I find that I'm not really spending as much time in the game lately, um, just because all of the quests are done now. Um, I want to get inspired to decorate the valley. Um, but, but I haven't really figured out what exactly I want to do yet. Oh, I am so sorry, Elsa, that Streamlabs, um, kicked your message out. I saw that you were saying you only need, like, five more hairstyles or something. What else were you saying? I feel like the Streamlab spot can be a little bit oversensitive sometimes. Oh my goodness. If we can catch all of these. Um. Okay, there we go. Oh, you just listed the five. Okay. That's super exciting, though. Honestly, I will say, um, when I was making the video about the hairstyles, I was surprised with um, the number that you get from Scrooge. I expected there to be a lot more that you get that you get from Scrooge, but a lot of them are just kind of hairstyles that you already have. Um, okay, we're missing one fox. We saw the black one. Let's see where the other one is running around. Oh, the other thing that I was going to uh, talk about besides the Moana dress is that, um, well, usually if you're on stream, you sometimes get like little sneak peeks into kind of things I'm going to be posting in the community tab or um, like videos that I'm working on. Um, and I'm working on kind of a secret video right now for Dreamlight Valley, but I do kind of need a bit of help with it in that I am interested in getting some pictures or some video clips of different people's valleys. So if you would be interested to send me a picture or a video clip of your valley, you can um, DM me on Twitter and let me know, and I can kind of tell you the specifics of what I'm looking for. Or if Twitter doesn't work for you, I have like a business email that I can give. Here, let me throw my... Oh yeah, the music's going to stop temporarily. Let me th throw my Twitter here. That should work. If you wanted to potentially be, or have your valley be in my next video. It should work. Streamlabs looks like it's thinking. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So let's go in search of some raccoons. I feel like the raccoons and the gators or the crocs are the hardest to find. And it's not even just like the red light, green light that you have to play with them. I feel like they also just hide in the forest and in the glade. And tracking them down can be a little bit difficult. Here's our green chest of the day, at least. Awesome. Although I have to admit that with the amount of money that you can make with like pumpkin farming in the game getting like 200 coins from a chest feels <laughs> it feels a little sad like what am i gonna do with that okay here's one of our raccoon friends yeah i don't know if i found any um hairstyles in bags i know you can but honestly, I feel like it would be nice if the drop rate for the bags was increased because I feel like I never get any of them. You only need the brown raven and it's only out on Tuesday. I'm in the same position. I also missed it this most recent Tuesday, I think. I was trying to remember to hop on the game in the evening, but I forgot. All right, here's our other raccoon friend. I think the brown raven is my favorite raven also. I really like it. Oh, nice. We got a couple unique memory pieces today.
I don't know what it is about this music, but they really did so well with it. It just like fills me with joy every time I hear it. Right, here's our little sea turtle friend. Took five times with the five star meals. Really? I wasn't keeping track of how many times it took me for the ravens, but I think it was pretty fast because within, I think it might've been two or three. Um, Cause yeah, one day I just logged on and I don't think it was very long after the update and I realized I already had two of them unlocked as companions. But from what I've heard, um, after a certain point, it's kind of random how many times it takes you to collect them as companions. So like, it might take at least two times, for instance, but then every time after that, it's like a random chance whether they'll be unlocked or not. That's what I heard, at least. I haven't done any specific testing about this. All right, let's find our other... We can also probably clean up the beach a little bit. It's been ages and ages since I actually went through and foraged any flowers or broke these coral or anything. It's also been so long since I checked Eric's house. I really don't think I'm going to find anything there, but, um, let's see. Nope, nothing. But I heard a couple people say that after the update, they had a couple br blueprints from Eric, but I, I haven't, I don't think. Yeah, I wish I were better about keeping track of things. Um, there are some things I wish that I had paid more attention to while I was playing the game through, like the content that's available, because it would have been nice to have a little bit more information about it. But I tend to get like swept up in the excitement of things and then I don't really pay attention to, you know, how many days pass or how many times it takes me to do something. I also, I'm playing on the PC right now, but I was initially playing on the Switch and I'm so disappointed that I didn't realize that none of the pictures save on the Switch. Um, because all of those really cute moments in the valley, I, I don't have the pictures of them now, which is a little bit sad. All right. Got those turtle friends. And so much sand. Probably just going to sell all of the sand because I have way too much of it. Has anyone found any other suspicious spots in the valley that they think are like going to open up or kind of um, become a location where maybe we'll find a character or anything? I really want to figure out what I'm going to do with all of the houses that are on the water. I don't mind Donald's house here. I think it's kind of nice having it near the little pier over here. But I really only have Ariel and Ursula and Maui's houses there because it makes it easiest to track them down when I need to talk to them each day. The last critter you got was the one you wanted for so long, the pink crocodile. I love the pink crocodile. I want to say the last critter that I got um, before the ravens came, or I think I got them right after the ravens came, was the red fox. That one was the hardest for me because I feel like I'm never awake between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m., um, especially on like a what, Saturday, I think, is when they show up. So I got into the habit of setting an alarm for like 6 a.m. <laughs> on a Saturday so that I would be able to feed it and then I would go right back to sleep afterwards because otherwise there was no way I was going to end up getting the, the red fox. 
I'm glad Scar moved. Scar was um, camping out in front of my house for a long time. <laughs> and it was like the glitch where you couldn't push him out of the way, so I couldn't get into my house. And it was really, uh, really a struggle for a little while. Okay. I think that little guy is stuck. Put all of those in there, probably. There's something so soothing about games like this. I don't know what it is. I'm not like somebody who necessarily feels like a rush of endorphins when I'm doing actual chores around my house. <laughs> I prefer to not, in fact. But when I'm doing chores in games like this, it's just so calming. All right. Here's one of the crocs. Same, yeah. Wonderful. You know what? I think today I'll actually um, harvest some of the crops that I've had growing for probably weeks. I feel like I planted a bunch of crops when the update first came out, and I haven't harvested them since then. But I feel like today might be that day. Fun. Okay, grab this lobster here. I think I also need to still finish um, the last Scrooge story quest, the one that's decorating the Sunlit Plateau. I have been putting it off because I don't know what I want to do with the Sunlit Plateau. And I imagine that even though we don't have like a specific date of when we're going to be getting Simba and Nala and Timon and Pumbaa, I know they're going to be coming at some point and I know I'm going to want to put their houses there. So I don't really want to, I don't know, make the sunlit plateau like all pretty and exactly the way I want it because I'm sure I'll just move everything again once they are added to the game. Where does everyone have their house in the game right now? I moved mine to the Peaceful Meadow, but I'm thinking about moving it again. I'm just not sure where I would like to put it currently. Just drop 10 items down, then talk to him to complete it. Yeah, I know, I could do that, and I probably will end up doing that, um, because that's probably the area that and Frosted Heights. I have no idea what I want to do with the rest of Frosted Heights. No idea whatsoever. I also feel like I like a lot of the natural beauty of a lot of the places. Like the Glade, I can't necessarily imagine putting down like a lot of furniture items or anything in this area. It feels like it wouldn't really fit in with the vibe of it. What's Donald looking at? <laughs> He's just looking out over the ledge. He has seemed to calm down a little bit since, um, I don't think it was since the update. It didn't say anything in the patch about fixing Donald, but I know after the update, he seemed to get even more wild for me. But since the most recent patch, he seems to have chilled out a little bit.
Your house is in the Frosted Heights because you're decorating that area. Nice. What are you doing with the Frosted Heights? Are you keeping it mostly natural? Are you doing like a little... I know a lot of people are doing little well plaza areas where they have like the fast travel well and goofy stall and they kind of make like a nice little seating area or something like that. Okay. I think I have decided that I want to move Merlin into the forest. I just haven't decided whether I want to put him in the part of the forest where the pillar is currently. If I want to put him where Anna and Kristoff's house was, because I moved that to the Frosted Heights. Or if I want to put it kind of near Elsa's cavern area. Snow brick all over the place. Nice. I don't think I've crafted any of the snow brick. But if I did any paving in that area, I would definitely use that, I think. Is anyone else playing the game right now? I'm a big fan of putting on streams while I play the game. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm hanging out with somebody while I'm just doing my daily stuff around the valley. Where are these rabbits? Yeah, I know I can move the pillar. I definitely am going to move all of the pillars at some point, I think. From what I've seen, um, you can't move the pillar in the Sunlit Plateau. Although I kind of gave up after trying for a couple minutes and I know some things are uh, pretty finicky, so you might be able to, but I feel like you can't because it seems like it's connected to the river, but the other ones you can. Um, You're playing the game right now, pumpkin gardening. Nice. How big is your pumpkin plot? Playing your second profile. So do you have like a game that you finished already and then a game that you kind of started up afterwards? I haven't seen either of the rabbits. I honestly haven't been paying attention that much. Okay, here's one of them. <laughs> I feel like the rabbits poof out of existence for me sometimes. Like when I get up close to them, all of a sudden they'll disappear and then they'll show up like, I don't know, 10 feet behind me or something. All right, there's one. You have a 10 by 12 gardening area. Kind of want to take your time gaining money. 10 by 12 is still good, though. Um, with 120 pumpkins, you could probably make, like... What are you making? Maybe, like, um, 100,000? 90,000? All right, where's this other? This other rabbit's hiding away somewhere. I don't even know which one we're looking for. Not that it necessarily helps us find it, but I feel like sometimes I just like try to figure out which one I'm actually looking for, the brown rabbit. Okay. Well, maybe if we pick up these crops, Oh, but just when I said Donald was behaving himself, he's throwing a fit on the stairwell back there. Yeah, you're on Switch, so you have one that's at the end with 4 million, and this one is almost to 40. But you still need all the characters. Wow. Yeah, I um, started a new save on the PC, but it was really just for recording purposes. I don't necessarily have the intention of 
playing on that save file. I think it's really intimidating to think about starting all over again. Um, I have so many hours in this game. So I don't know. But there are some things that I would probably do differently, um, in which case it would be nice to kind of start fresh and do those things, but I just don't know if it's worth it. Okay, let's put this stuff away. And try to track down this rabbit that's hiding from us. Uh, the dark brown one. I feel like sometimes they go down the ramps, like almost all the way to the other biome. Sometimes they hide in here. But no. We don't find it in a once around. We'll just go to the plaza and come back. And they'll usually show their faces. Not see it. You can move the sunlit plateau pillar? Really? Did you have to get like a specific um, angle on it? Because like I said, I did try for a little bit, but I'm pretty uh, impatient. So if I can't do something, I will occasionally like give up and come back later. Because otherwise I get like too stressed out about it. You think so? Yeah. I remember that's how, um, I don't know if it's still like that, but... Scar's place in the elephant graveyard before the update. You could move it, but it was tricky. You had to do like some intense camera work trying to get the right angles. What is that? Oh, there's a piece of candy from the Halloween event stuck back there. How did everyone's Halloween event go for Dreamlight Valley? From my understanding, you can't really get the candy anymore, but you can still complete the tasks if you, like, have some stuff stashed up. There's one of our squirrel friends. And the other one's back there. I'm excited for future holiday events. I thought that was a nice, cute one. Um... It was quick and easy, so it didn't feel like you're doing too much grinding, try to finish something before it's over, but I liked the reward items, the little jack-o'-lanterns and things. All right, what else do we have around here we can harvest? My. Lots of cocoa. You know what I would really like added to an update in the near future, hopefully? I would really like some larger chests. I feel like my storage in the game is, um, it's extensive. <laughs> And it would be nice to have some bigger chests so I could consolidate some of it. I also feel like I need to do some more cooking in the game. I don't enjoy like mass cooking it just kind of gets a little bit tedious but i feel like i have so many cooking memories that i still need to unlock so i need to maybe i'll just cook a bunch of berry salad sometime because i use those for energy but also typically on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not really going around doing that much stuff that requires a lot of energy in the valley anymore. Yeah, same bigger chests. That would be real nice.
trying to think if there's anything else I would like. Oh, the biggest thing. I feel like I probably talked about this last time because it's one of my biggest requests. I hope that the, they add the functionality to be able to rotate items on a diagonal instead of just facing in four directions. I feel like it would make decorating so much more enjoyable and customizable. Especially because I want to throw all of my pillars in like a nice little circle once we've fixed all of them. And you can't really make a circle if you can't turn things on a diagonal, so that puts a bit of, the, of a wrench in my plans. Oh, we have another green chest. Do these pop up every day, even if, like in a different location every day, even if you haven't opened the previous one? Because that's definitely the second one that we found today. I also want bigger drops of dark wood because I feel like gathering dark wood is a grind. Wait, where are the sunbirds? Oh, there's one. in the distance. Let's see. They're so cute. I like the sunbirds. I think, I don't know if they're my favorite favorite of the companions, but I really like when they're following me around. Usually I stick with Pua, but if I'm not going with Pua, I usually go with one of the sunbirds. Oh, you know what else I could probably do today? I need to do some crafting. I realized that um, I haven't really crafted many of the items in the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, you said you also keep finding like multiple chests after you did something. Yeah, that's interesting. Because I feel like I've never noticed more than one in one day, so I'm not sure. But yeah, I feel like, um, let's see. In terms of crafting, there are so many things that I haven't made. Well, I've made these, but they just, I think there was a glitch in the update where it hasn't checked them off as something that I made. But like all of these things, I haven't really made any. Although I am kind of in uh, conserve your resources mode since now you can't buy things that you crafted from Scrooge anymore. So if I want to make something to decorate with, I want to have enough supplies. Okay, feeding this raven is going to be a pain because... Oh, there we go. Because <laughs> it was right in the middle of the patch. Um, here. I also find it kind of odd that I'm like, here, let me feed a bird a birthday cake. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> but he liked it, so that's what matters. Okay. Also break this. You know what else I'm interested in is these chests. So I imagine they'll function like um, like the other chests in other biomes that were encapsulated with something, but they're a different color. These ones are red chests, and I don't recall ever seeing any red chests before. All right, let's feed this boy. It is like 
strangely hot where I live today. I don't really understand. For reference, I live in the Northern Hemisphere, so it's autumn where I live. Um, like, well into autumn, but it's, like, so hot today. I think I just saw another chest, yeah, over here. Well, that's nice. Oh, and another... Okay, so I feel like these must populate every day. Like, whether you open them or not. So maybe if you haven't been around the valley in a couple days, you'll have multiple that show up when you log back on. But yeah, I'm kind of a cool weather girl. I like when it starts to get a little bit chillier. You get a nice, like, brisk fall day. I guess we can pick up some of these, too. And clear out the rest of the night thorns that we've got around. Moonstones, yes, you get them daily. You have three as you're not connected. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good to know. These are things that I haven't really um, learned because I typically clear everything every day. Okay. Let's go around and let's find somebody that can harvest with us. And we can actually take care of these pots that we've got. Usually I go for Wally. Because he's typically easy to find. He's usually hanging out outside of his house. And if not, going into his house, usually. We'll bring him around. In here? No. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, what a cutie. Um, let's talk to him. Oh, uh, what is it, Wally? You have a question? He's pointing at... What's he pointing at? Maybe my clothes. These are my clothes, Wally. How do I explain clothes? They are super stylish. <laughs> He's like, alright. <laughs> Whatever that means. Cool, now do you want to hang out with us? There we go. Cool. I am not going to lock Wally in offensive doom because he's too cute for that. And these are pretty small plots. I don't mind um, running after the extras. After three days, they stop spawning. Interesting. You have like all the information. Oh, there was a rabbit, by the way. Our last critter that we need to feed. When you first started the game, you accidentally put Merlin. I also put Merlin as gardening, but he got in the way, like way too much. So as soon as I had the chance to pick somebody else, I was like, I'm sorry, Merlin, we're not hanging out anymore. Who else gets in the way a lot? Um trying to think. Oh, Maui gets in the way a lot. I didn't make Maui a gardening person. Oh, I have so much stuff in my inventory right now. I need to get rid of some of this. Um, I'll probably just sell most of it, to be honest. But yeah, I brought Maui around with me a lot gardening because it's typically a reliable way to level up people, even if that's not their role. And he he was the worst because you can't usually push him out of the way too easily. Um, I want to keep the flowers, but I'll get rid of this. I have so much regular like softwood and I have chests and chests full of all of these.
Um, I think I have enough of that as well. You just cage your buddy, then harvest 100, then let them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that sometimes. Um, I definitely did when I used larger plots for farming, but now that I use smaller ones, I don't really mind as much, like, chasing them around. Yeah, I imagine that you have bad switch crashes if you do that. I don't know if I've ever tried to fence in a gardening friend on my switch. I feel like my switch would crash enough even when I was just harvesting normally, <laughs> so I don't want to push it any further. I mean, to be fair, it's been doing a lot better now. I haven't had any crashes since the update, the scar update on my Switch, but I also don't play as often on my Switch anymore, so that could have something to do with it. Alright, let's pick up all this stuff. I don't really want to have these seeds. It's gonna keep trying to get me to plant them, so I'll yeah, I do really need to do more gardening because I don't really have very much of the rich soil, and I'm sure we're going to need a bunch of it for our future updates. That. Oh, so just another leak. Actually seeing these really makes me want some potato leek soup. Okay, we are almost done here. We had so much stuff over here still to pick up. And I think there's one. And there's one. Alright, let's talk to Minnie. Oh, and see what she's got going on today. Hmm. I just love bows. They're my favorite accessory. And there are so many kinds. Butterfly bows, button bows, ribbon bows. Um, I like... I like big poofy bows. Those are such fun. My favorite big bow is made out of loops of pretty red ribbon. Goodbye. I honestly would love some um, bows so that we could add as accessories. Oh my goodness. Donald actually looks cute when he's just... Okay, well, <laughs> he ruined it. Oh, uh, never mind. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. Um, you look agitated, Donald. Uh, my friends always say I have a bit of a temper, but I don't know what they're talking about, sir? What do you do when you're really mad? Not that I'm asking for any particular reason. I, um, not really any of these, but of them, I probably meditate and try to calm down. Meditate? How do you do that? Um, uh, just listen to music and zone out. <laughs> sure. I'll try that. Let's see. Oh, well. Oh, Donald. Been getting a lot of rich soil on your second account as you were farming to get stuff paid off or shop at Scrooge's. Yeah, that is one nice thing about, um, I'm sure it'll be the case with people who start when the game is fully released or people who start now. There are going to be a lot of things that are implemented right off the bat that... You know, if you, if you started from the beginning, you now are having to grind for new things, whereas if you start once it's already in the game, you kind of have more time while you're playing to accumulate those things. Lots and lots of pumpkins. I'm probably going to keep some of these for my... Um, just my stockpile of items that I have because I don't have very many pumpkins because I usually just sell them. 
but it'll be nice to keep some. Here's Mother Gothel also. Oh, hello, dear. Sometimes talking to Mother Gothel gives me anxiety. I feel like I'm being gaslit. Um, what do I think magic is? Uh, I'm not sure. At least you're willing to admit your ignorance. Mm -hmm. Magic is simply an advantage, a tool to be utilized to meet one's goals. That is very cynical. Perhaps to me, but to Mother Gothel, it's just practical. Are you still here? <laughs> I'm leaving, don't worry. <laughs> it's like, you can go away now. Okay. The thought of making pumpkin puffs briefly popped into my mind, and <laughs> the, the quickness with which I shut it down was truly uh, astounding. I was like, no, no, no. That's not the vibe that we're going with today. I also think I want to get rid of this whole farming plot in the plaza. I don't think I need it anymore. I mostly had it for when I was kind of focusing on making a lot more money in the game. But I don't think I need it. But I'm not sure what I want to put here yet. I think I'm happy with the houses that are currently in the plaza. I don't think any of the other characters' homes really fit the plaza vibe that I'm going for. I honestly love the characters' houses, though. I think they look so good. Um, Minis and Mickeys. Well, the coloration of Minis, but the style of Mickeys reminds me of Minnie's house that they had for a long time in Disney World, but they got rid of it, like, years ago, I think. Um, but it, it was so, so pretty and so pretty. You used 3,000 pumpkins, five each, for grilled veggie platter. And had 700 that sold for 2.8 million. Oh my goodness. You cooked 700 grilled veggie platters? Oh my gosh. That is wild to me. I think the most I ever made was... Um... Well, I did cook over the course of a day. Maybe... 800 pumpkin puffs that was the only day i ever made pumpkin puffs i did it because everyone on the discord was trying to convince me that it's the way to go to make money but i just was not having a good time i was like watching tv and stuff while i was making it but i still i don't think for me at least the time it took was not worth it hi there pal so I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep a hundred pumpkins and I'll sell the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Merlin's over here so we can talk to Merlin. Oh, hello. Yes, yes, there you are. Good. Um, you had a question? Tell me, what do you think is the most important quality for being a good leader? Um, I think it is taking care of people. Yes, that's the very essence of leadership, caring for the people that you lead. Well, run along now. Okay. Good talk, Merlin. Good, good talk. Got Anna over here. I also love the animation of Anna and Elsa writing the letters to each other and then receiving them. It's very, very cute. What's your favorite kind of sandwich? Um, between these, 
I love a good egg sandwich. Good choice. I especially like them with cheese. I've been thinking about a lot of sandwiches lately. Sometimes when you share a love for something fantastic like sandwiches with a horrible person, it can ruin that thing. You try to enjoy sandwiches and you find yourself thinking about that horrible ex-fiance or person. And what do you do then? Um, you eat even more sandwiches. Exactly. I won't let anyone ruin sandwiches for me. He chose to stop making pumpkin puffs as the cost for the cheese and eggs was not worth it. Then you tried pumpkin soup and it only used milk, but the ginger it needed took too long to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely seen schematics of um, all of like the different pumpkin recipe breakdowns and like the profit that you make from each one. And I think it's super useful to know if you're trying to grind star coins. But I, uh, yeah, I feel like if I'm going to be playing the game, I would prefer to spend my time doing something different than, <laughs> than cooking. But if they ever add batch cooking to the game, I, I might be convinced to, to cook some puffs or something. Oh, I don't even know how I missed that. It's huge. Okay, let's grab these pumpkins. I wonder what I'm gonna plant. I guess I'll probably just plant more pumpkins. I don't think there's anything I really need to plant. Although I'm trying to think if there's anything that just like looks really nice when it's grown. It would be nice if we had other kinds of um, seeds that you could grow besides just veggies. Like that's one thing that I, I kind of like about Coral Island. You can grow flowers as well. So then you have like these huge plots full of flowers and it looks really pretty. Right, let's pick this up. Amazing. Trying to decide if you're going to buy the game today. Well, I definitely recommend it if you're into like cozy games, life sims, farming sims, anything like that. I think it's really fun, but I think this game has like some additional functionality in it that in that you have all the quests as well. Um, I know I got pretty bored of Animal Crossing pretty quickly because I felt like, I don't know, I, I struggle to find a lot of inspiration with like decorating and stuff like that and i feel like there's not much to do in games like that once you kind of get past the initial um short storyline but this has a lot more content hello 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 Currently, we're just harvesting some pumpkins, <laughs> and then we're going to have to plant some stuff in these plots as well, because even though I'm not really actively trying to make money from my farms, I don't want to have to redig all of the plots. That's what you've heard. You're just wondering if you'd love it as much since you're not too into Disney. Oh, I can't really speak too much to that, because I happen to be a really big Disney fan. But I have heard some people say that they're not necessarily huge Disney fans, but they still like the game. I think overall, I mean, obviously it's early access and there are a lot of bugs um, that people have experienced, though those are getting a little bit better with the patches. But I think overall it's made really well for the type of game that it is. So I, I think that even if you don't like Disney um, or aren't a huge Disney fan, you'd probably still appreciate it as a game.
switch to your main and can move your tree pillar in the plateau if you put your mouse clicker just above the orb. Oh, that's good to know. That's a really good tip. You're not a huge Disney fan, but you love the game. Yeah, that's really what I've heard. I think um, Gameloft has done a good job of developing like just a quality game. Obviously, with bugs, but, like, I think the framework is just very good. Um, and it goes beyond... Like, obviously, if you like Disney, you're going to get a lot of enjoyment there. But just, like, the mechanics and the game itself, I think, are really well done. Yeah, Wally is my go-to gardening companion. I have um, Wally, Merlin, Minnie, and... Who else? I feel like I have one or two others. But Wally's the one that I always go with. Because he's super cute, and for the most part, he stays out of my way. <laughs> Sometimes he'll get in the way a little bit, but not as much as everyone else. Alright, we are almost... almost done with this. I think this is my last plot as well. That's another reason why I kind of want to get rid of the one in um, in the plaza. Because I also have the farming plots in three different biomes. And it's just, just a little excessive right now. You love Disney and you knew back in April you wanted this game no matter how much it costs. Yeah, I can't remember when I first saw um, information about this game. But I want to say it was on, like, the App Store, like the Apple iPhone App Store. It had something about it um, months and months ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, that seems like the perfect game for me, honestly. And I've really, really enjoyed it so far. I think the art style is super cute. I think the game is very fun. It's giving nostalgia. It's letting me live my Disney World dreams, even though I haven't been to Disney World in so long. <laughs> okay, what do we want to plant? Actually, I'm going to run home and check my like storage room and see if there are any veggies that I do need to grow. What's up with Elsa? Hello, my friend. Oh, Elsa. Um, have you ever considered getting into fashion design? What do you mean? I made so many beautiful dresses. I love. Um, I actually think the white dress is my favorite Elsa dress. I was very proud of that one. I enjoy thinking about the cut and shape of clothing, what it means, and how it makes people feel. When I was young, I used it to control myself, my gloves. Ah, oh, yes. Um were those to keep Anna safe. I did. I felt so guilty for so long, but I was a child. It's silly to blame a child for an accident. Goodbye. For those of you who've seen Frozen 2, what's your opinion on it? I've heard pretty much like evenly split down the middle people who think the first Frozen is better and people who think the second Frozen is better. Oh yes, I took everything out of this room because I didn't like it, and I felt like if I took everything out, I would be more inclined to decorate it. <laughs> so far, that hasn't happened. Uh, this is the wrong room. Uh, do I always have the same little companion, or do you change it up? Um, I'm sorry, I need to adjust my... Streamlab settings. It's very sensitive to like longer messages, but I think I got the the gist of what your message was asking. I uh, I usually change it up. I find especially since sometimes I come in and I'm trying to like record things for videos, I tend to not have a companion follow me around when I'm doing that. So then when I have another like little critter following me around, I'll usually switch it up. I really like Pua because I think he's super cute. I like the sunbirds because it makes me feel like the most like a Disney princess, I think. Um, but 
I do like to throw on the Incredibles outfit and have Incredible Squirrel follow me around as well. You wish you could go to Disneyland. You've never been. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you live like really far from one? Do you live near one somewhat? I need onions. I could plant some of those. And you love Frozen, but Frozen 2 was your fave. Yeah, I think I prefer Frozen 2. But I also think I should probably rewatch them both. Um, because by the time I saw Frozen 2, I hadn't seen Frozen in a while. You always have Pua, but you had the Sweetie Croc in week one. Uh, this might be a hot take, but I'm not actually a huge fan of the, the crocodile companion that came as the pre-order, like, first week bonus thing. I don't know. Like, it's kind of cute. But I don't really think I would want it to follow me around. Frozen 2 was brilliant. I really liked Frozen 2. I do think that that's my favorite between the two of them. I don't think I have any zucchini. Oops. Seeds, but I should probably plant some zucchini and some onions. So let's go grab those. I honestly don't even remember where we get zucchini. Oh, from the Sunlit Plateau. Cool. And onion is from the forest. No, you're in Utah. Oh, yeah. That's hard. Um, yeah. Because honestly, Disney is so expensive. Um, and then adding a plane ticket or whatever it may be on top of that, it really, really adds up. Oh, you didn't know you could change? Yeah, I feel like, um, I think by the time I started playing, I had seen a couple people play a little bit. So I did know that you could change your companion, but I know a lot of people didn't realize it. And it's kind of confusing because I feel like usually if I'm going to change my character's outfit, I'll do it in my home. So if you're not like changing your outfit and stuff outside, you'd never really know that you could switch up your companion. All right, I'm trying to guess how many plots I have. Um, I think I have 150 in the plaza. And I probably have like 300. No, I probably don't have that many up in uh, the Forgotten Lands, but that's okay. If we have extra seeds, we'll just throw them in a chest. You're in Ireland so you would Ireland so you'd need a long flight to visit Disneyland USA yeah have you ever been to Disneyland Paris I have never been to Disneyland Paris but I really want to go I typically when I've gone in the past well the only one I've ever been to was Disney World in Florida in the US um, I've never been to the one in California or any of the international ones you haven't, but your friend did and loved it. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Disneyland Paris. I also am, like, I, I'm a huge collector of things. Like, I just like having things, <laughs> especially things that I like a lot. So um, the fact that there are certain, um, like, merch and things that you can only get at Disneyland Paris or at certain of the Disneyland or Disney World locations. It makes me want to go and like, I feel like gotta catch them all like Pokemon or something. <laughs> but I don't currently have any plans to go to Disney World again or um, Disneyland or anything like that. I would love to, but not currently on the agenda. You found you could change the companions like the second day. Yeah. There are so many of them too. Um, especially now that the ravens were added. Which is hard because I kind of want to give them all like their time to shine. But there are so many of them. Okay. I can 
plant some more of these. I'm so excited to find out when the Toy Story update is dropping. Like, I feel like um, my level of anticipation for it is not as high as it was for the Scar update. Not because I'm less excited about the content, but I think um, I had put so many hours into this game and just the prospect of getting a new update was just, I don't know. It was just like so amazing. And I, I still feel that way. Like I'm so excited to get new content for the game, but I feel like the first update just kind of hit a little bit different. But as soon as we get like a surefire day, when we're getting the next update, I know it's going to be the only thing that I can think about until then. You had the ice cream croc until you noticed you could have the royal fox. The whole reason you bought the exp uh, the expensive pack. Yeah. I bought the expensive pack because I have serious FOMO issues. And the thought of not having access to something would nag at me probably for the rest of time. So that's why I got that. But my favorite of the Founders Pack companions is actually the Celestial Turtle. I really, really like the Celestial Turtle. Yeah, I, I like Scar a lot too. I, I was a little bit surprised that Scar was the first update they decided to go with. It definitely makes sense because I feel like they're trying to give us a lot of story content. Um, but I, I was a little bit surprised, but um, I kind of like the vibe that Scar adds to the valley. And I really do think that the update was really good. I know... Um, we all wish we could have more content and more story, but I think it gave us a lot more than I expected it to. At first you thought you would only get the fox as you also wanted the turtle, but you also wanted the turtle too. It's so cute. Yeah, the turtle is very, very cute. And at that point, I don't know if anyone really knew, um, like at the point where, you know, the game was still in pre-order and we were hearing about all these founders packs. I don't think that anyone really knew that you'd be able to get just like the regular critters as your companions. So, um, that also added to the hype, I think. Mrs. Potts Tea Trolley. I think it's still available to buy. I definitely saw it in Scrooge's shop, um, within the past couple of days. Within the past week, for sure, it popped up in my, my shop. Right, we are almost there. I'm honestly just, for my own sanity, going to take a break from planning these and water all of this. Um, for those of you who are Switch users, is planting like a little bit better now on the Switch? Because I feel like it took forever to plant even just like a small plot um like the stop and start on the switch was so um so tedious you haven't had it since the first week but you didn't have the coins to buy it yeah 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 that happened with me with um the Vanellope inspired hair. It was there like the first day and it didn't show up again in the shop for until like maybe two weeks ago. But I definitely have seen the Mrs. Potts tea trolley within the past week or so. So 
It'll just be a matter of time until it pops back in there. It's still a pain on the switch. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, I feel like the switch, um, the way that the game runs on it, it definitely has improved with the patches, but it's still just so much more of a struggle than, than PC from my experience. So is decorating. Oh my goodness, yeah. Decorating, uh, like doing all of that with a controller, I think in general is really difficult. So um, I still sometimes play on the Switch, but I usually play on the PC. And I use a controller for pretty much everything except for inventory management and decorating. I always use the mouse and keyboard because it's so, so much easier. It's still lagging for you, but the game isn't crashing as much. Yeah, I have noticed that it's not crashing as much when I do play on the Switch. You're not really good at decorating, so you spend a lot of time trying to come up with a good layout and look. Yeah, I definitely relate to that. I feel like I think about it so much before I start decorating, and then I actually get ready to decorate, and that entire plan goes out the window, and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out. The paths you love. Oh, I haven't tried using the touch screen for the paths. That would be a lot easier. I, th I definitely did some pathing on the Switch and it was not a fun experience, but next time I'll have to try it with the touch screen. You haven't done much decorating either because it's not easy on Switch, yeah. You have a Mac, can you play on that? Um, last I heard, it's not currently available on the Mac, but don't take my word for it. Um, probably the best place to check would be the actual Dreamlight Valley website. I'm sure they probably have, like, all of the places where you can get it. But last I heard, it wasn't available on the Mac. water some of this. I feel like I have such a short attention span that I can't even <laughs> plant like a whole plot of something before I'm like, okay, this is, <laughs> this is not the vibe. Let's switch and water them first. When it's free to play, can switch players use the PC version and merge the game? Yes. So currently there's cross play between everything except for PlayStation, but you have to purchase a founder's pack on whichever console you want to play on. So I purchased one on the switch and one on the PC. Um, and I can play on either one of them as long as my cloud save is set up. Um, but once it's free to play, you'll be able to do that, like the same functionality with the cloud save, um, but you won't have to pay for it, obviously, which is really nice. I think it'll be like cross play between any of the platforms, but from my understanding, there's not currently a plan for that to be... Um, adopted by PlayStation, but that's because of Sony and their own like company policies, I think. It's not because of Game Loft or hmm. uh, okay. The touchscreen made placing paths down a lot easier. That's why you cover the whole area. Uh you only have uh let's see. Let me see. I uh, I would totally switch, try to switch my CloudBot settings, but um, I am not very proficient in CloudBot yet, so it would take longer. But after the stream, I definitely will increase the amount of characters that it allows, or I'll try to anyway. So good to hear so many Switch players are going to decorate their valley then. I know. Oh my goodness. 
Honestly, I really like um, seeing what people have done with their valleys. I try not to look at other people's valley decorations like too, too much because I feel like I'm very easily influenced and I want to still leave room for like my own ideas of how I want my valley to look. But what I have seen, people are doing like some really, really amazing, really creative things. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens when the game goes free to play. Um, I am cautiously excited about um, the microtransactions, which I know is kind of a point of contention with some people. But I think, well, I think with the Star Path, it's actually done really well that you can earn back pretty much all of the moonstones that you spend on it as long as you complete the star path. So I think that gives like a lot of wiggle room with still being able to participate in things without feeling like people have to spend a lot of money on events. But then um, they also are planning on having like some cosmetics, I think, and some furniture items that will be purchasable with moonstones. And I'm hoping that they uh, don't take it too far with that. Um, but I do think they'll also have some really nice things. Unfortunately, people are saying that they think that that's why they changed Moana's dress from the beautiful like cream and orange and red one to the blue one because they think that they're either planning on putting it behind a paywall or adding it to a different star path or something in the future, which is a little bit disappointing. I'm still hoping that they'll give it back to us because that was sad. But they took it away and replaced it with the blue one. Oh, poor Wally. I'm totally done harvesting, but I'm still making him, like, follow me around. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. Go in a minute. The blue dress is awful. Here's the thing. If they had just given us the blue dress from the start, I feel like I would have liked it. It's definitely not as detailed, and it doesn't fit Moana's theme, but if they had just dropped that as the level 10 dress without like, giving us the other one first, I think I would have liked it. I think it's mostly just the disappointment of um, them just switching it kind of out of the blue without really like giving us much of a reason. I mean, they said that the blue one was always the intended color, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really check out to me. But yeah, I do miss it. It was, it was like my favorite dress in the game. So I'm a little sad that it's gone. I know a lot of people feel that way though. Um, there's an entire channel on the Discord server now just dedicated to people who want the original dress to be brought back. So I think we will get it back eventually. I just don't really know the context in which we'll get it back. Right, we are almost done with this. This is legitimately the first time I've done any farming in this game in probably weeks. <laughs> oh, another thing I really would like is for our max level to be increased. I think that would be really nice. And I also... I mean, I don't think any of the character levels are going to be increased. But it would be kind of nice if they were. Well, hello, Mickey. Ooh, hey there. Blue does not even go with Moana. I know, I know. Like, it would be something else entirely also if it was more of, like, a greenish color and it at least matched the Heart of Tafiti, but it doesn't. It's just, like, a, a blue, tealy kind of color. 
I've seen all sorts of magical things around here. You should see Merlin when he's packing for a trip. He can fit his whole house into just one suitcase. See you real soon. <laughs> Let me let poor Wally go. <laughs> go do whatever you want with your life, Wally. I'm so sorry I made you follow me around for so long. Um, it's been a really, really long time since I watched The Sword in the Stone. I don't want to watch it now. All right. Who else do we have to talk to still today? It looks like um, quite a few people. Maybe we'll try to find Ursula. I feel like she can be kind of tricky to track down sometimes. Okay. Where is Ursula right now? Oh, I missed a pumpkin. Um... Man? Is she on the map? Oh, she is. She's over in Sunlit. Which Disney characters am I most excited to come to the game? Um, of the ones that are confirmed to be coming to the game, I'm probably most excited for Belle. She's my number one. Um, and oh, Rapunzel. Are. And probably Eve, no. I think. Um, yes. Yeah, I think those are the ones out of the ones that are confirmed that I'm most excited about. Um, out of people who are not yet confirmed, I really, really want to see Tiana. Um, I would really like to see... I'm thinking... It might be nice to have Pongo and Perdita or Perdita in the game. I think those two would be really cute, although I don't imagine that we would get them anytime soon. Um, who else? I'm trying to think of some other classics. And then probably just like the other classic princesses. Like, obviously, it would be nice to see Mulan and Snow White. Um, but yeah, Belle is pretty much number one for me. Who is everybody else looking forward to? Winnie the Pooh and friends? Um, who is Eve? Am I crazy? I can't think who that is. Eve is the other robot in Wally. -E. Wally -E calls her Eva, but her name is technically Eve, I believe. Tiana is wonderful. The Dalmatians are so cute, too. Yeah, Tiana is so cute. Um, I would really like to see her. Um, she's also kind of spunky. And she and Naveen are just really cute together, so if they were brought to the valley, I think that would be fun. Hey. But yeah, Winnie the Pooh would be would be kind of fun. I would love to see like um the realm that you would find them in. I think a hundred acre woods realm would be really, really cute. Um, when I was young, my father wanted me to be happy where I was, to focus my responsibility to our people. But there was something inside me that called to the ocean. I found a way to bring those two things together. Our people are voyagers again. Um, let's see. I'm glad you found a way to bring those two things together. Me too, I'm so grateful. Discovering who we were made who we are even more incredible. See you soon. I honestly love Hello. Moana, though. I think Moana is such a great movie, and I also just love Moana as a character. Um, wait, could we talk? Is everything okay? Is talking about feelings as hard for you as it is for me? Why is that? Um, because feelings, feelings are weird. Um, low key, they are. You're right, feelings are weird. Things were so much simpler when it was just me, Sven, and the trolls. Simpler, but not as amazing. So I guess feelings are worth it. How do you talk about feelings? Um, be sensitive. Yeah, being sensitive isn't really something I learned while climbing mountains and harvesting ice. But ever since I met Anna, I've been trying my best. I wonder if we're gonna get Sven. Having Sven would be pretty cool. Um, you're so excited for Rapunzel. 
Um, maybe in a book like they did in Kingdom Hearts. You always loved how they did that. Oh, for like, yeah, 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 100 Acre Woods. That was really cool. Um, but yeah, I think Rapunzel is going to be really cute. Um, I've kind of... Just kidding. I think we already talked to Maui, did we? No, we did not. Um, I've here and there been kind of watching some of the Tangled animated series. When uh -huh. I'm feeling kind of down or just wanting something heartwarming, I like watching Disney animated series. They're really cute. <laughs> Belle is your favorite, so you're excited for her and Maleficent. Um, and Merida from Brave. Yeah. Maleficent? I, I feel like Maleficent just doesn't even need to be stated. Like, Maleficent is always going to be at the top of my list of people I want to see um, in anything. I just think she's so elegant and um, striking. And in this art style, especially, I think she would be gorgeous. Um, and Merida from Brave. I actually saw Brave for the first time maybe a couple months ago, and I really, really liked it. Um, they did her so dirty in Ralph Breaks the Internet, so I hope we get justice for Merida in this game. See you, later. you didn't realize Tangled has a series? Yeah, actually, so they have the movie, and I wonder if maybe they were considering making a sequel, but they either didn't get... Um, like studio approval or something because they had what I think is classified as a Disney Channel movie, but it was like an hour long maybe. Um, and it was animated. And then right from the end of that movie is where the animated series kind of starts. And it's all on Disney Plus if you have Disney Plus. You want Vanellope, Eve, and Rapunzel. Yeah, Hello. so we're definitely getting all three of those um, because they've either been in trailers or in promotional material that's been shared by the game. Um, it's just a matter of time. Um, what's my favorite thing about the sea? Honestly, I love the ocean in real life. My favorite thing is probably the salty ocean air. Yes, there's something about the air near the ocean. It smells so fresh and alive. See ya. I agree. <laughs> Why did he say that like that? See ya. <laughs> kind of funny. All right. Who do we have left to talk to? Let's go to the shop. Some people usually hang out at the shop. Oh, and here's Scar. I don't think we've talked to Scar yet. It's about time. Descending from on high to mingle with the commoners. Uh, why are you looking at me like that, Scar? What's up with that? Uh, why don't I ever see you with the wildebeest slung over your shoulder? When exactly do you hunt? Um, I don't hunt? That's that's not something I can do. You can't hunt? How tragic. What do you eat? Um, anything with chocolate. I'm afraid I have no idea what that is. But it does sound intriguing. Uh -huh. Um, Coco characters would be cool too. Yeah, I have only seen Coco once, and I don't remember much of it. But I remember thinking it was really cute. Um, I also obviously would love to see some Encanto characters. My problem with them adding Encanto characters to the game is that I would be really sad if anybody was left out. Like every family in the Encanto or every family member in Encanto is so integral to the story that unless every single Madrigal was in the valley, I would be so sad. <laughs> um, do you prefer savory things or sweet things? Um, I like both, but maybe savory. Ah. Good choice. That gives you an extremely wide variety of flavor profiles to enjoy. Okay, do you enjoy salty, savory things? Or fermented things like cheeses? Or spicy stews? Um, fermented yeah. things. Oh, I agree. I hate to be a cliche, but I'm incredibly fond of aged cheese. I actually used to work at a cheese shop. So I'm a huge, like, cheese nerd. I love learning about how different cheeses are made. Um, and I like learning about like the intricacies of different cheeses. Big fan. I miss so many things that I need to water. Okay, let's go water this thing that we forgot. 
By the way, you still have 30 of each color of the Halloween candy on your main account. Yeah, I still have so much of the Halloween candy. I think I just put it in a storage chest. I put it in the one that I usually put like leftover quest supplies or something in. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's just sitting there. Um, you watched Coco for the first time last night. It's fantastic. Yeah, I have a habit of watching movies late at night when I'm already too tired to focus on anything. So then I don't remember them. But I need to watch Coco again when I'm not that tired. You haven't seen Encanto? Bella, do you have Disney Plus? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is so important. Do you have Disney Plus? Um, you got a new phone a while ago and got Disney Plus for six months. Nice. Encanto is wonderful, too. Encanto is so good. Oh, did we just not water any of these? Or are they just ready to be watered already again? That doesn't make any sense. You do. You guess you better watch it tonight. Honestly, um, yes. Although, take care of yourself and make sure you're in a somewhat positive mood before you watch it because there will probably be tears. I sob every time um, every time I watch it. Even just now thinking about one of the lines from one of the songs, I'm getting a little bit teary, so <laughs> I am glad in this particular instance that I don't have a face cam because that's a little embarrassing for me. But yeah, I think um, a lot of the themes in Encanto about families and how they process things um, and the effects of one person's uh, struggles within a family on everybody else within the family, they really kind of hit home for me. And I know a lot of other people too, so... I, I really like that Disney is kind of moving in that kind of a direction with a lot of their films um it just feels really real and it's something that obviously kids can still really enjoy a lot of those things won't necessarily um resonate with them or they won't necessarily grasp those messages but watching disney movies now as an adult i can really relate to a lot of those themes the louisa song makes you cry yeah absolutely your kids and you absolutely love Encanto. Your husband is from Oaxaca, so you absolutely adore Coco. Um, have I seen... I haven't seen Vivo, but um, Vivo, the music is also by Lin-Manuel Miranda, right? Because if so, I know um, one of the songs from Vivo. My sister sings it all the time. The kids that she nannies really love it, and it's always stuck in my head. Has anyone watched Soul? It looks good on the trailer. I've got to watch Big Hero 6 too. Um, I did see Soul. I really liked it. Um, I think I watched it probably when it first came out. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. it. It was a good one. It was really cute. Um, what does it remind me of? It's got similar vibes to Inside Out, I think. Um... And yeah, I really, I really liked Soul. And Big Hero 6, I feel like pretty much everybody who watches Big Hero 6 loves it. Although I have seen a couple outliers who say that they don't like it at all. Um, I'm a big fan. It's based on a Marvel IP, but it is completely, completely different than the comics that it's based on. But it's still very good. Another one you absolutely need is Alice in Wonderland. Oh my goodness, I would love to see Alice in Wonderland. Not even just um, the characters, although I love the characters, but also just the aesthetic of Alice in Wonderland is so fantastical and whimsical, and I would really like to see that in the Valley. One of my favorite musicals, I'm a big fan of musicals like Broadway shows and things like that. One of my favorites is called Alice by Heart, and it's an interpretation of Alice in Wonderland, but it also um, brings in ties between that kind of story and wonder and imagination and World War II um, and people in London in particular who kind of had to live underground at that time. And it's, it's a great musical. Um, what song? Um, 
what is it called? I Here's the thing, I don't know what it's called because I haven't really heard the song itself. I've just heard my sister singing it <laughs> repeatedly. Um, ah, I don't know what it's called. You love Big Hero 6 in Kanto and Soul. You're looking forward to watching Disenchanted because Enchanted is one of my favorites. I am so looking forward to Disenchanted. I love Amy Adams. I think she's a fantastic actress. I love Enchanted. I think it's a phenomenal movie. Um, I love Adina Menzel. I think she is perfection personified. <laughs> I'm a huge Adina fan. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I saw that the official trailer came out for Disenchanted. Um, I know there was a teaser trailer like quite some time ago that I saw, but I haven't watched the most recent trailer because I, I don't want to see any more content about it until um, until I watch the movie. Inside Your Heart. I don't think so. It's an upbeat song. Um, the one from Vivo that I know. Um, it has something to do with like running out of time. Um, and it like speeds up the further on the song goes, I think. No, no, no. I, I don't know that song then, Inside Your Heart by Gloria Estefan. Adina was superb in Wicked. Adina is superb in everything she does. Um, no one needs me to go on an Adina rant, but uh, she was in Rent, which is an amazing musical. Some might say it's overrated, but I think it's appropriately rated. Um, and that's beautiful. She was in um, a musical called If Then, which is also a beautiful musical. Wicked is superb speaking of wicked this is super like musical theater nerdy of me but um is anyone aware of or excited about the wicked movie that's going to be coming out because i am um ariana grande and cynthia revo are going to be galinda and Elphaba respectively and i i've been waiting for this movie for years years and years they've been talking about it for ages but they finally like are actually working on it okay anything else in here go oh, oh yeah this can go let's see you know what we should do we should actually do a round of mining i want to clear some of this stuff out of my inventory first but we'll have to grab somebody and uh go mine a little bit there's going to be a movie there is Yes, oh my goodness. I think it's currently supposed to come out in 2024, which is a ways away, but you know, I mean, I've waited so long. I don't mind waiting another couple of years, but um, yes, Ariana Grande is going to be El um, Galinda and Cynthia Erivo is going to be Elphaba. I'm not necessarily like, um, I wouldn't call myself an active fan of Ariana Grande. I think she's super talented. I don't really listen to her music very much or anything. But Cynthia Erivo is another one of those just absolutely phenomenal vocalists and actresses. Okay, we can keep a bunch of this, but I want to get rid of this stuff. Um, we have some space in our inventory. And now let's see where we can find one of our mining friends. Okay, Elsa is down here. We can grab her. Well, I've certainly gone into the unknown. Okay, <laughs> okay, Elsa. <laughs> um, cool, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Oh, we're also kind of hungry. Um, you always cry during that song. Because Inside Your Heart is a song about what? But yeah, I definitely relate to getting emotional during songs. Um, 
I am a somewhat emotional song. Anyway, that's exciting. You didn't know about Wicked. You wonder what source material they'll pull from the most. You love the musical so much, but the book was kind of too intense. Yeah, uh, I, I can relate to that. The book was... Um, the book was something else entirely. <laughs> it was something else entirely. Um, totally different vibe. I definitely saw the musical first, and then I read the book afterwards, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into. But from my understanding, it's going to be um, uh, pretty closely based on the musical. Um, it's about a guy letting his love go, well, letting uh, his love go follow her dreams. Oh, that's sweet. But yeah, I'm a pretty emotional person anyway, but music really has a way of, uh, hitting me right, right in the heartstrings. Another musical that is being made into a movie is the Mean Girls musical. Um, yeah, they made a musical based off of Mean Girls the movie, but now they're going to be making Mean Girls the musical the movie. So that should be something. <laughs> I also really love, um, I, I've been to New York City once. I've seen a show off Broadway, but I've never seen any shows on Broadway. But I used to live in Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania, and I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily expect Pittsburgh to be a pretty, um, uh, a pretty culturally progressive city um, in terms of like their view about the arts and things like that but it really really is there's a really big arts presence in Pittsburgh a lot of feature films are filmed in Pittsburgh um, and they had a lot of companies come through and do Broadway tours in Pittsburgh so I got to see Aladdin um, the Broadway tour. Um, I got to see the Little Mermaid tour. Um, I think I saw the Cinderella tour. Um, and I'm sure I'm missing a couple other ones, but if you have a chance to see even just like a local production of a Disney show, like a play, they're very, very good. Let's see, do you, I think Game Loft will give the characters more chat options. I really hope so. Um, I don't know about some of the characters. Some of them seem like they have quite a few, like Ariel in particular. I don't know why she kind of jumps out to me, but I feel like Ariel has a lot of different dialogue options um, or like conversations that you can have with her. Um, I definitely did not, um, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, but people like Eric, Eric really has like two different options. So I feel like they'll have to go back and add some for him. Running out of time might be the song. I think it is. I've heard like a very tiny clip of it and then I've mostly heard my sister sing it. Um, but I also think that anything musically that Lin-Manuel Miranda does is going to be superior. I think he's just such an exceptional writer of music. Am I excited for Slumberland? I don't think I know what Slumberland is. I mean, you might be able to jog my memory, but off the top of my head, I don't know what that is. Is that a new animated movie? There's a movie I'm thinking of, but I can't remember if that's what it's called or not. Okay. Oh, we must have missed this one. Unless they increased the rate of flowers needing to be watered, but I don't think I remember reading anything about that. I remember how so many of the quests needed you to have emeralds, and I felt like getting emeralds was the hardest thing in the world, but now I feel like emeralds are one of the easiest gems to get. 
Jason Momoa Adventures in Slumberland. The animated movie was a fave as a kiddo. I hope they add music. I don't think I know what that is. I'll have to look that up. It's not really ringing a bell. But if it's a movie that's like, um, it sounds like it was maybe traditionally like a family movie or a kid's movie or something, um, I'd probably love it. I'm like such a nostalgic person um, that I, I just love like family movies or kids movies. They just make me feel safe and warm <laughs> and I really like them. I like a lot of other movies too, but I feel like it's hard to beat like a nice animated classic when it's like a rainy day or you're just not not feeling the best. It's just so heartwarming to put on. It was a flop and not well known. The history of how they made it is cool. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into it. I feel like those are some of the best movies though, like movies that came out and they were total flops, but people just have really fond memories of them. Um, like Hocus Pocus, obviously everybody knows and loves Hocus Pocus now for the most part, but Hocus Pocus was a major flop when it first came out. Hello, uh, Bolivora, is that how you say your name? How are you doing today? Welcome to the chat. trying to think of some other movies that um, I really love that aren't really popular. Heathers. I mean, that one also kind of has a little bit of a following now, but I feel like Heathers was kind of hated on when it first came out and for like a couple decades. Tiana would make the game better to have another restaurant as Remy comply... Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Remy was talking about when he came into the valley. Um, yeah, I think about that sometimes. I think it would be cute, even if it wasn't like a full restaurant. I mean, I know that's like her whole thing in the movie, but um, since she's really known for her beignets, it would be cool if maybe even she had like a little pastry stand or something like that. Zen. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. But yeah, there are a lot of characters that I think could bring new kind of community um, spaces to the game. Like I know a lot of people have talked about Belle having a library. I think that would be really cool. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of some of the other characters that are already confirmed what they could bring. Even if uh, like Rapunzel had like a little art studio, it could be really cute. Um, because I, I feel like we could use a couple more, like, community buildings, you know? You can't wait for Buzz? Yeah, I'm looking forward to Toy Story. Um, I was saying that I, I don't feel the same kind of excitement that I did for Scar. It's not that I'm less excited. It just feels a little bit different right now. But um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think especially the realm will be super cute since from the trailer, it looks like we're going to be shrunk down to be toy sized when we go into the realm to retrieve the characters. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I still haven't seen Toy Story 4. I need to watch that. And I also haven't seen the new Lightyear movie. But I love Toy Story 1 and 2. I really hope they add Jesse. From what I've read, Jesse is not currently confirmed, but there are some rumors, not from official sources, uh, that Bo Peep is going to be in the game. And I feel like if Bo Peep is going to be there, then we absolutely need to have Jesse. Um, yeah, not just houses, more buildings. Yeah, I agree. Like, obviously, I don't mind having houses, but. Scrooge's shop and the restaurant are really nice and that people kind of gather in them. So I think it would nice be nice to have a couple extra spaces like that. Um, 
You think Buzz would have great interactions with Merlin and the villains? Oh my goodness, yeah, I haven't even thought about that. I do kind of want to spend some more time just sort of wandering around. Because I feel like I would also like if um, the conversations between the villagers happened a little bit more frequently. Because every now and then I'll kind of walk up and a couple of them will be talking to each other. And those interactions are always so like funny. So I wish we had more of them or that they happened more frequently. Might sound strange, but uh, hoping they bring wheelchair representation. I don't think that sounds strange at all. I think that's totally valid. And it would make a lot of people feel seen, you know? I'm all for that. You watched Lilo and Stitch last week and cried at the end. Oh my goodness. Lilo and Stitch is so good. I haven't watched that in years, but we are absolutely getting Stitch. Um, there hasn't been any confirmation on whether we're getting Lilo or not, but I feel like if we're getting Stitch, it doesn't make sense to not get Lilo. Your daughter wants a mini's boutique. Oh my goodness, yes. Maybe if Daisy comes to the game, because uh, in the animated show, Minnie and Daisy run the boutique together, right? That would be so cute. Buzz to Ursula be like, I'm watching you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and he's going to be so tiny compared to everybody else too. That'll be so good. Yeah, honestly, I really would like for them to flesh out the interactions between characters a little bit more because all of the Disney characters have such strong personalities that watching them interact would be like such a good time. Uh, Cinderella and the Fairy Godmother. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we'll see everybody who's in the memories in the game. Maybe not like every single person, because I know there are a couple of memories that show like a lot of people. But that's kind of just like my theory that for the most part, if we look at the memories that we're unlocking, um, most of the characters will be added to the game. You use a wheelchair and you're never represented in games like The Sims, though Animal Crossing did have wheelchairs, but they were just seats. Interesting. Yeah, I've definitely heard a lot of people say that about a lot of games, and I, I mean, I like playing games, but I'm not a prolific enough gamer, I think, to really speak on gaming as a whole, um, and, like, accessibility representation. Um, although I would imagine it's not very, very common in games, but, um, oh, I forgot. That's why they needed to be watered so soon. They were zucchini, not pumpkins, but yes, I think, I think there's a big movement in gaming and other forms of media now to kind of increase all kinds of representation. And I think I that, you know, we'll definitely see it get to a point where, it's a lot more inclusive of everybody. And I think only good things can come from that. Not to plug my other content, but I do stream Coral Island, which if you like this game, I think you would like Coral Island. Um, while there aren't currently wheelchairs in Coral Island, there's a spot in the town center that mentions free wheelchair rentals, which makes me like, like implement it at some point later in early access. How's our inventory doing? Oh, we didn't even go to the mines. I sometimes still forget that that exists. <laughs> I feel like I just played this game for so long before the mines were a place that um, sometimes I still forget that we have them now. And I'm sure I've said this before, but I'm so excited to see like what other tool um, enchantments we get with later updates. Because the watering can one is really cool. I do hope they kind of fix the camera in the mines a little bit, though, because it's a little bit restrictive. You love the textured hair in Dreamlight Valley and the skin tones. Um... You love the representing of all players. You think wheelchairs and Dreamlight would be cool. Um, customization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, love thinking about those entrance looking places in the mine. Yeah, all very true things. I think um, Dreamlight Valley, I was really impressed and surprised by the amount of customization that's in the avatar designer. Um, I still would like to see a couple like kinky or coily hairs that are out. They have a lot of like braided and twisted hairstyles. It would be nice to see like a little bit more variety, but I also understand that those can be really difficult to make look good. And you don't really want to put something in your game that's not looking good, um, but it would be nice to see. Um, and yeah, wheelchairs in any game would be nice to have, especially, I know you mentioned The Sims. Um, like The Sims has been around, around for decades. You would think that they would have implemented that in some iteration. And yeah, there are so many spaces in the mines like this. It looks like it could go somewhere. I don't know. Something about the way that the rocks are floating in the fog makes it seem like they're not really, that's not going to be their permanent kind of thing. But I also think it would be nice if in some quest we can um, repair the tracks in the mine so that you can like follow them from one place to the other. Or this looks like, this looks like we might be able to break it open at some point. I don't know. Just so many possibilities. I also, oh my goodness, I was so sad because one day I was crafting. Um, this was before the SCAR update came out. And I accidentally crafted one of the lampposts that needed a ruby. And that was when we only got one ruby and one sapphire from the secret room in the castle. And I was like, oh no, what have I done? And I tried to like force quit my game, but it still like counted it as something that I had made. So I didn't have it anymore. So I'm so excited that now we have as many rubies and sapphires as we want. The possibilities do make this game so fun. And I think, um, Disney Dreamlight Valley community is just such a great place. I mean, at least in the spaces that I've been. Um, people are so friendly. People just love talking about the game, talking about what could be coming to the game. Um, for the most part, everyone that I've seen is so respectful of other people's like wants in the games and their opinions about Easter eggs and things like that. So it makes it a really fun community to be a part of. Secret room, that's new info to you. Um, have you, like, how far along are you in Mickey's quest line then? But yeah, and I think also I'm so happy that there's been so much interest in and excitement about this game because I think the possibilities are pretty much endless. And I think the only factor kind of capping off um, the longevity of this game and like how many characters we get is people's interest in it. So I think as long as people stay interested, we'll keep getting more content because that's kind of how the game is built. So I'm really excited that people, people like it as much as they do. You have Mickey at level nine. Okay, I think it's your the last quest for Mickey, the level 10 quest. You'll gain access to a fun little secret place. Let's see. You finished uh, the last quest today? That's so good. I technically have one quest left, but it's just um, this one to decorate the Sunlit Plateau. Um, and I know you can just kind of place whatever, or sometimes you can just move stuff around, but I'm just trying to get an idea of what I want to do with the plateau. I really kind of like it the way that it is, but I don't really want to change that much about it right now. Oh no, I don't want to run by Goofy because I want him to just fish in peace. I hate how the characters stop what they're doing whenever you run by them.
Where's Eric going? Oh, he's just looking at the water. No, he's just playing music to the river. That's cool. Oh, I was just thinking about The Little Mermaid 2 for some reason. Does anybody have a favorite Disney sequel? I feel like mine might be Frozen 2, but I'm not going to count that one because that one's such a recent one. And it was like in theaters and stuff. And when I think about Disney sequels, I mostly think of like the kind of cheesy ones that were like straight to VHS when that was a thing. You gave up on trying to level Ursula and Ariel. Them teleporting away when you're like one foot away is so annoying. Oh my goodness, yes. And it takes so long to level them because you can't um, you can't bring them around like following you and stuff. So what I did was like every day I just tried to make sure I was talking to them and giving them their favorite gifts. And then I was like, you know what? It'll happen when it happens. Um, you're still working on the star path, though, and thankfully it's keeping me busy. That's so good. I think I was just really sad about um, having to wait for the orb to restore in the scar update. I was like, I have to wait? Like, we just got this update, and first thing it tells me is that it's going to take a couple days. So then I just started grinding the star path, and I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I had kept a little bit of it. Um, Fantasia 2000 is your favorite Disney sequel. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. I don't remember anything about that, but I'm sure it's good because Fantasia in general is awesome. Um, you have a pick of characters in the game or coming to the game. You tweeted it to me. Thank you. Um, you loved Frozen 2 and Wreck-It Ralph 2. See, I really liked Wreck-It Ralph 2, but I know a couple people said that they really didn't like it. What I will say about Ralph Breaks the Internet is that it felt like two movies. It felt like the first half was like one movie and the second half was another movie. Now, I didn't really mind that that much, but I could see how that could kind of annoy somebody, but I thought it was pretty cute. I still think my favorite sequel, though... Um, is either The Little Mermaid 2 or The Lion King 2. I really like The Lion King 2. Yes, Melody and the Second Little Mermaid. Oh my goodness. When I was a kid, I ate that up. Oh my goodness. I thought she was like the coolest. I was like, she's so grown up. Meanwhile, watching this back as an adult, I'm like, she was 12. She was a kid. But I, I thought she was so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I feel like a lot of the movies Disney has been putting out over the past few years, I've, I've liked them all. I haven't really had any, any qualms about any of them. You love the song in The Lion King too? Any in particular or just all of them? The only Disney movie you actively enjoy is Toy Story, so you guessed Toy Story 2, but 3 to 5 were meh. Yeah, uh, I love Toy Story 2. I didn't even think of that one. Toy Story 2 is definitely up there as well. Toy Story 2 is a better movie than The Little Mermaid 2 and Lion King 2. Like, objectively, I just think that's the case. But Little Mermaid 2 and Lion King 2 have a little bit more nostalgia for me. You liked that you haven't watched either of those, so they're on the list now. Nice. Yeah, honestly, I was so happy when I found out that Disney Plus was going to be a thing because I have um, pretty much every Disney movie on VHS, but it's really hard to find a VCR nowadays, actually. And the one that I had had for a really long time broke, so I wasn't really able to watch those things. Um, but now that we have Disney Plus, it's like I can relive all of that, watch it all, and also having the really old Disney Channel series is nice too, like The Proud Family. I feel like I watched that a lot growing up. Um, it's nice to be able to watch those. Um, you had the idea for Ariel's daughter, and you were happy they made her like you had in mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's so spunky. 
the love so song with Scar Sun. Oh, yes, yes. Everyone loves Kovu. I don't think he's actually Scar's son, though, is he? I think he was just Scar's heir. But I also haven't watched it in a long time. But I also feel like this was a discussion on the Dreamlight Valley Discord lately, so I think that's why I'm remembering it. Uh, but yeah, it's so cute. No, I actually haven't seen the... Um, the newer Lion King movie, though. I know Beyonce was in it, so I feel a little bit ashamed that I haven't watched it, but... I don't know. I feel like the... I mean, that movie's not live-action, but people class it in with the live-action ones. I feel like the live-action movies are kind of hit or miss. In my opinion. Penelope would be great in the game. Penelope is going to be in the game. Um, Yeah, she was in... One of the memories, like the first memory that Mickey gave us. And uh, I think she's been in some promotional material as well. So it's pretty confirmed that we'll get to see her in the game. Um, the weird thing is you did not enjoy Moana movie, but the character in this game is pretty awesome. Interesting. I haven't really heard that opinion about Moana. What was it that you didn't really enjoy about it? I don't really want to make another chest for dream shards, but I also don't want to get rid of them. I wonder if I should just craft some into Dreamlight. You're not supposed to do that, but I have so many and I don't know what to do with them. Um, I'm just going to do it. Um, don't do what I just did, friends, if you are still, like, questing and such. I just, I, I don't have the space to put it anymore. I have a whole chest full of dream shards. Like, I just, I mean, if they let us make a bigger chest, I would, but I can't really justify having a second chest right now. Okay, let's put the rest of this stuff away. You don't know. You just uh, weren't used to it, you guess. Plus, Maui. Maui is very cringe. That's fair. Um, I have more dream shards than you. I haven't picked up any dream shards really lately. Uh, like, I haven't tried to. Let me say it that way. Like, I don't really dig that much necessarily anymore. But when you feed the critters every day, you just get so many dream shards because they just kind of give them to you all the time. Let me put some of this stuff away, too. Um, yay, so good to hear. She's so cute, but strong will too, and has such determination. Yeah, I do think Penelope's really cute. Um, I really liked her. I will say, um, another thing about Ralph Breaks the Internet, not to get too much into the plot, because if anyone hasn't seen it, but, um... The direction that they went with Penelope's story arc, I can also understand how that feels a little weird. Um, like, coming off of the first movie, it feels kind of like an abrupt change. Um, so I know that's something that some people have also expressed. I still liked it for what it was. Okay, just putting a bunch of stuff away. I need to, like, decorate the storage room and stuff, but I don't know what I want to do with it, and I really feel like the functionality of it is the most important to me. Alright, we've just got some flowers to put away. Probably sell the rest of this stuff. Uh... this away you keep forgetting we can make chests what <laughs> you have one chest how oh my goodness um or you craft dreamlight even though you have 89,000 dreamlight yeah i i know <laughs> anytime i play a game like you would have seen this also well clearly you saw my like five rooms of storage in this game but also uh if you've seen me in coral island i just craft chest after chest because i'm such a hoarder in games like i it makes me physically anxious 
to sell things if I don't have a lot, a lot of them. Um, so that's why I end up with like a hundred chests because I, I can't part with anything. Uh, I want to keep this. Does anyone else have issues with oysters? I feel like the uh, drop rate for oysters is very low. Goodbye. Yes, you understand. It's like she grew up mentally, but not physically. So there was somewhat off. Do I have a fave outfit or styled room? Yeah, I don't even know that it, it's like she grew up mental. I, I can see that as well. Um, but I think it seemed like her main priority in the first movie, um, like the entire thing she was aiming for all throughout the first movie, in the second movie, it's like she just wants to throw it all away and it was just very abrupt. Um, do I have a favorite outfit or styled room? Do I have a favorite outfit? Um, well, it used to be the Moana dress, RIP the real Moana dress. Now I really, really like I really like Ursula's dress. I think it's very pretty. Um, but I also, um, as cringy as it feels, I really, really like to put on um, like the space suits. <laughs> I don't know what it is about them, but I just like them so much. Like the eco suits, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm that girl when I'm wearing this. <laughs> Uh, I don't really have shoes that go well with them, but, you know, we're gonna keep wearing this. I really honestly like all of the Wally items in the game. All of the Wally clothes and the Wally items, but I also really like the Wreck-It Ralph furniture items. I think they're really good. Um, you just sell all the extras constantly walking around with, like, 55k. Yeah, um, uh, I just couldn't sell things. Let me go, uh, we'll actually grab these. Where... We have a friend around. Um, none of these friends can help us with harvesting. No, you pick up all of them on the beach, so more spawns, but the oysters are more rare. Yeah, the oysters are more rare. I definitely have some of them, but um, I feel like they are they show up a lot less often than the clams and the scallops, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, yes, that's true. And you think that's what Ralph found so difficult. Yeah. I mean, if you look at them as separate movies, um, it's not like a big deal. And I didn't think it was like to the point where it made the movie unenjoyable. I just remember thinking like that. That's just like a weird, a weird thing. You know, Moana's boat probably also is ready for us. Hello, Liv. How are you doing today? Um, you were wearing that eco suit until five minutes ago when you changed to the Beauty and the Beast dress. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. They're just, they really do it for me. I really like them. I think they look cool. Um, you don't know. Uh, you use mining to make money, not farming. So maybe you're poor in comparison in game, but way less work. Yeah. Um, farming was a pain. I used like carrots as my primary form of getting money at the beginning of the game. And I used those all the way up until I got access to pumpkins. Um, and planting carrots is a struggle, I think, because they grow like every 15 minutes. So you feel like as soon as you plant them, you got to turn around and harvest them again. You're good. Oh, I'm good too. Thanks for asking. You're also new to the game, so you'll probably ask questions. Absolutely. We've finished all of the quests, um, so we're kind of just hanging out, doing stuff around the valley. Um, so if you have any questions, let us know. Also, you probably won't really be spoiled by anything because we're not doing any like quest stuff. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I try. I don't know. I think it's because I have four younger siblings. I'm just naturally like, I don't know. I'm just naturally the kind of person that's like, oh my goodness, come to me. Let me hug you and help you out. <laughs> so yeah. I also worked in teaching for a little bit. Um, so I think that's also part of it. Uh, 
Um, you haven't gotten pumpkins yet, but okra has been doing pretty well. Also eggplants and onions. Yeah, I mean, I definitely heard about all of those things. Um, but I think, like, I've seen some people, because like I said, I like watching people stream while I'm playing. Um, so I would see people kind of go about progressing in the game. Oh, I didn't know Elsa's still following us. And I realized it was kind of different than the way that I did it. I feel like I just kind of did a lot of foraging and exploration and stuff. Um, and like some questing. But once I heard that pumpkins were the way to go, I feel like I already had enough dream light to um, get the forgotten lands. So then I was like, I'm not doing um, I'm not doing carrots anymore. Time to time to go up to bigger and better things. Same seven sisters and a daycare worker. Oh my goodness, seven sisters? That's wild. I have two sisters, and already, when the three of us are together, or even talking on the phone, we're like too much for anybody to handle, so I can't imagine. Wow. Must everyone here be so... What is Scar saying? Nice. Oh, he's complaining about the fact that we're all nice. <laughs> but like, friend, if we weren't, uh, that would probably be bad for you. All right, let's grab this. One pass of Forgotten Lands and Vitalis Mine will get you at least 10k, which is more than enough. Oh, I'm sorry. I've said this already, but um, the cloud bot that's linked to my YouTube streams, it's very sensitive about long messages. After I'm done streaming, though, I'm going to check out the settings and see about making it more lenient. Your boss has six sisters and no brothers. Hello, Danielle. How are you doing? Oh, also, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, but we have quite a few um, more people here and probably different people now. Um, so I'll mention it again. I am working on a uh, super secret, not so secret video for Dreamlight Valley. Um, and I kind of need a little bit of help from the community. So if you would be willing to send me pictures and or video clips of your valley in Dreamlight Valley, um, if you could DM me on Twitter, um, or if Twitter doesn't work for you, I'll have a community post up about it tomorrow. Um, and I can kind of give you more information and your valley could be in my video that I post. Probably not the next Dreamlight Valley video. It'll probably be the one after that. Um, and my Twitter, um, here, let me put it in the chat. Oop, I'm so sorry for sending everybody floating towards my avatar space. There, that should throw my Twitter up in the, in the chat in a second. Thank you me again for being so sweet and my fun channel. Have a great day. Oh, have a great day, Paige. You're fine, you're gonna play the game later. Your Joy-Con controllers are charging. Yeah, I love this game too. It's so good. Um, yeah, it's so, so good. What console do you play on? Or do you play on a PC with a controller? You're back, welcome back, Liv. We'll probably wrap up pretty soon. Because we're kind of just chilling <laughs> and chatting. Uh, unfortunate, well, not necessarily unfortunately. We're still having a good time. But this is probably going to be the way that it is for streams until we get our new update. Because uh, we've got everything done. So it's just, you know, hanging out, doing some assorted chores around the valley. Ignore your username, but hi. Hello. I will not ignore your username. In fact, I will celebrate your username because we appreciate the Vampire Diaries on this channel. Hello, Wilmissa. How are you? In fact, my sister and I were just talking last night about the fact that she wants to watch all of the Vampire Diaries again. 
I did not share that sentiment. <laughs> I think once is enough, but I, I still did appreciate it. <laughs> so no worries about the username. You're obsessed with it? Oh, nice. <laughs> it's such a long show. We were also talking about the fact that um, uh, shows nowadays, nowadays, that makes me sound so old. I'm not that old. Um, but shows now, the seasons are like eight to 10 episodes usually. And when the Vampire Diaries was on, the Vampire Diaries has like nine seasons that are all like 20 episodes each. It's wild. It's so much better than Animal Crossing was. This game, I will say that I prefer it to Animal Crossing, but I also haven't really tried Animal Crossing in a while. So it's hard for me to say. And I know they're they're very different games. Like they have a lot of things that are similar, um, but they kind of have different focuses. Like I would say the focus of Dreamlight Valley, it's like more quest driven and Animal Crossing is a lot more decorating driven. So it really just depends on what you're into. Have I seen First Kill on Netflix? I have not. I've heard of it, I believe. But I haven't watched it. What have I been watching lately? I don't think I've really been watching anything. Um, I watched The School for Good and Evil. That's a movie though. Um, it was pretty cute. Um, I didn't really have strong opinions about it. You're trying to think of what to do with your 1,039 pumpkins for more money. Well, um, popular opinion is typically pumpkin puffs. I am somebody who just sells them, um, but also pumpkin soup can make a lot of money, but you need a lot of ginger to do that. And also we had um, a lovely person in the chat earlier today say that they made grilled veggie platters with four pumpkins each. So you could try that. Yeah, back in early 2000s, shows were easily 20 episodes, LOL. Stargate, uh, SG1, Kyle XY, yeah. By the way, I asked at the beginning of the stream. I did ask at the beginning of the stream. I just figured I would ask again. The more the merrier. Oh, I forgot that zucchini harvest, um, like you harvest two per plant. You're thinking of watching Teen Wolf and you'll try the grilled veggie platters. Yeah, the only thing with the grilled veggie platters is that it's a pain. You can't autofill it unless um, you don't have any other vegetables in your inventory or in your storage. Because it'll usually just autofill with less expensive vegetables. So you might have to drop all of your produce on the ground. I also haven't watched Teen Wolf. One of my sisters watched it... Um, Maybe when she was in middle school. She tried to get me to watch some of it, but I wasn't into it at the time. And I just never picked it up. Oh, you said five pumpkins. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gave the wrong information. Five pumpkins. Why so many zucchinis? You can ask. Um, I am not particularly trying to make a lot of money in the game right now. I have quite a bit of star coins. But I am trying to fill up my storage room, um, like my vegetable storage room. I want to have one chest full of each vegetable. And we needed quite a few zucchinis, but I didn't want to count out how many we needed. So I just picked up a bunch of them and planted them all over the place. I didn't realize that you harvest two zucchini from every plant. So we're going to have way too many, but we'll just sell the rest. And then we'll probably plant pumpkins again because I need more pumpkins and uh, I also want my plots full. You were reading reviews for Dreamlight and people were complaining that it's Animal Crossing, but what? Sorry? But yeah, I know people tend to have um, a habit of comparing games in like negative manners um which like obviously is 
I mean, it's fair in a lot of respects. Like if you have a game that you really love and you see another game that comes out where you feel like it's either copying the game or it's doing something not as well um, as one of the games, um, you're going to feel pretty strongly about it. But I also think like a lot of games kind of build off of the same framework and it's not necessarily that they're copying each other. It's just like the style of game. Like, for instance, um, a lot of people say that Coral Island is like a copy of Stardew Valley. Um, but the reality of the situation is that they're both just farming simulators and a lot of farming simulators have a lot of things in common. So, um, yeah, I try if I am comparing games to just kind of draw uh draw on the similarities between them like for people who like one game like if you like this about animal crossing you might like this about dreamlight valley or if you like this about stardew valley then you may like this about coral island but i try not to like put a game down because of how it is in relation to another game because i know the developers on every game work so hard um and there are always things that are unique about every game um, so I try to just, like, focus on that. Um, saw one of my videos. I have, yeah, I have around 27 million star coins. Yeah, star coins right now. Um, you were just saying that Dreamlight's filling a gap in the market. AC doesn't exist on Xbox. Oh, yeah, that too. I went on a little ramble that clearly wasn't what you were saying. I wasn't saying you were, like, saying those things about games. That was just something I was thinking of. But, yeah, um, there are a lot of really good games that are just on Nintendo. Um, so it is nice that people on other consoles now um, have access to Dreamlight Valley if they've wanted to play something like Animal Crossing but haven't wanted to buy a Switch because, uh, especially during... The panorama switches were pretty expensive and difficult to come by and they still can be sometimes everything is inspired by previous media there's no original content at this point let's be real exactly yeah and I think as long as you're being like um, respectful um, and if you are taking something kind of directly from something else like giving credit to the other creators like there's nothing wrong with taking an idea and expanding upon it. How long have I been playing Dreamlight Valley since it came out? Yeah, I think I got it um, either the day after it came out or the day after that. How did I make so much? I did pumpkins. Um, at first I was planting carrots. Um, and that was nice because it's super quick. You can harvest carrots in about 15 minutes. And the plot that I had was giving me about 20,000 um, every time I harvested carrots. But once I got the opportunity to get Forgotten Lands, I started planting pumpkins. And I would plant between like 300 and 800 pumpkins every day. Um, sometimes twice a day. And I would just harvest them and sell them. I don't like making pumpkin puffs because I get bored when I'm doing batch cooking. So it's just pumpkin money. You've never played Stardew Valley. You do love Animal Crossing and really love Disney Dreamlight Valley. Yeah. I have also never played Stardew Valley. I've heard a lot about it. And I play Coral Island, which is very similar to Stardew Valley. Um, but I feel like I would like Stardew Valley. And it's kind of like, it's not the OG farming simulator, but it's kind of considered to be like the farming simulator. And it's also going to be very different than Dreamlight Valley, but you're going to have like some similar things like uh, planting crops and whatnot. All right, let's plant all of this stuff. I feel so positively about changing into the spacesuit. <laughs> I feel like it was a good decision. It's making me feel good. Fishing sucks in Stardew Valley. You only caught one fish. I have heard that. I've heard it's really hard. But, uh, yeah, I've not <laughs> tried it myself. Am I excited for the 2500 Moonstones tomorrow? I am. I personally don't, like, need it right now. But I know a lot of people who spent Moonstones on um, 
the Pixar tokens in the last event didn't have enough to purchase the premium path for the Villain Star Path. Um, and I know also a lot of people were affected by the loading screen glitch where they weren't able to log into the game for multiple days. So I'm really happy for those people because they'll either be able to get the premium star path if they uh, weren't able to get it before, or they'll be able to kind of use some of those moonstones to buy some tokens this time um, if they weren't able to do as much with the star path because they couldn't log on. You missed out on the Pixar one. I'm sorry, friend. Well, the good news is that once the game is free to play, or maybe a little bit after, they haven't given a specific timeline, um, it is going to be multiplayer. And hopefully there's some kind of option for us to give gifts to each other. Because I'm sure there will be lots of people who have like extra of the items from the Pixar Fest and you might be able to get gifted one or something. You'd play Stardew Valley if it was a combatless game. That makes sense. I um, Yeah, I've frequently said while playing Coral Island that, well, Coral Island, I, I know I talk about this a lot. It's just because it's the other game that I stream. So it's the other game that I play the most often. And it's really similar to Stardew Valley. Um, there is some combat in the mines, but um, at some point in early release, they're going to release um, an option where you can toggle to make it so that it's combatless. So I, I don't know if I'll do that, but there's also going to be like an arachnophobia mode. So I will probably do that because even though I don't have arachnophobia, I just don't really want to fight spiders in a mine. So I'll probably toggle it onto that once that's available. You don't need it, but it would be nice. Uh, you did not have the loading screen glitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, extra moonstones are always nice. I'm definitely not going to say no to that. Uh, you can't wait for that. Um, do I know if there's a problem with Minnie's level 10? So Minnie's level 10 quest isn't currently in the game yet, actually. Um, her level 10 quest and Wally's level 10 quest. I'm assuming they're going to be added once different characters are added. Like, I think maybe Minnie's level 10 quest might be added like when Daisy is added to the game, because I think it might have something to do with Daisy. Or, um... Wally's level 10 quest might be added with Eve because it maybe has something to do with Eve. But yeah, I know a couple people have found the rewards from the level 10 quest in clothing bags when they drop, but currently there is no level 10 quest for Minnie, so there's no reliable way to get the dress. Is Cor the Coral Island game fun? I love Coral Island. Um, I love Coral Island. I'm having such a blast. Like, um, I love Disney Dreamlight Valley too, but on the days when I'm streaming this, um, cause I don't really play a lot when I'm not streaming just because I'm usually either working on like video ideas or I'm spending time with my family or something like that. So on the days when I stream Dreamlight Valley, I'm always like a little bit bummed out cause I'm like, uh, I would have like so much fun in Coral Island. Um, not that I don't have fun in Dreamlight Valley. I love this game. But um, there are a lot of other new things still in that game. Um, so if you want to pop by a stream or something, you definitely can. I feel like if you like Dreamlight Valley, you would like Coral Island. Um, you'd spent Moonstones on the Star Path, but made it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Moonstones that you spend on like unlocking the premium, you pretty much make back. If you convert moonstones into tokens, like, I don't know if it'll let me kind of explain it on screen because I've already finished it, but, um, oh yeah, there's like an option down here where it says buy tokens. So if you click that, you can like buy tokens with moonstones. But if you do that, like I know a lot of people did that because they weren't able to finish the actual duties from the Pixar path, and if you do that, you can end up spending a lot of moonstones and then find yourself not having enough for a different star path. Last time you had internet, you checked and you had 7,000 moonstones. Yeah, that's a lot. 
I know um, on the website when they talk about the founders packs, they kind of list out how many months of um, do I have enough? Oh yeah, how many months of star paths you can unlock with each path? But really, it's way more than that because as long as you finish the star path, you're gonna make back almost as many moonstones as you spent. So it's kind of like a renewable resource in that way. You're just trying to get away from games with combat. So Disney Dreamlight Valley, Grow, Song of the Evertree, and Yonder are right up my alley. I don't think I've heard of those last three. I might have heard of Yonder, but I'm not overly familiar with it. Have fun. It was nice chatting. See you again in another stream or video. Absolutely. Have a great rest of your day. All right, planning some more pumpkins. Did anyone make um, like a Halloween themed or like an autumn themed valley? I didn't just because I get decorating anxiety and knowing that I was making something that I would change soon would not really um, <laughs> make me feel the best. I'd be like, I'm putting in all of this work just to change it in like a couple weeks, but I've seen some people's like autumnal or spooky valleys and they look so good. Spiritfarer is also combat free and absolutely amazing. I have heard of Spiritfarer. So there are a couple games that I want to play right now. Um, I really want to play Breath of the Wild, but I know Breath of the Wild has combat and I am not good at combat games, but there is the new Zelda game coming out next year. So I kind of want to, I don't know if I would stream it or like put like little playthroughs or something. And I don't know if I would do it on this channel or if I would make another one, but I kind of want to play Breath of the Wild. Um, you bought tokens and was down to 2,000, but after you had all items, you did duties and made a lot back. Nice. You're planting pumpkins too. So tedious. Oh, yes, Aaron. Absolutely. It's not too bad if you're doing something else at the same time, like I'm chatting with you all or if you have like a movie on or something. You can avoid a lot of combat in Breath of the Wild because of the climbing mechanic. Nice. That's good to know. Yeah. I've never played a Zelda game before, but everyone says that um, Breath of the Wild is just like a great story game. Um, and it's also just like really well made. Um, and typically if I'm playing a game Something that'll really draw me in, if it's not specifically a cozy game, is the story. Um, like, what games have I played? I played Detroit Become Human, which is not a cozy game in any way. Like, it's not really my vibe, except for the fact that the story is so compelling that I had such a great time with it. Um, I've played Life is Strange. I've played two of those games, I think. Um, and again, it's like a little creepy for me. I'm kind of a wimp, but the story was so good that like I had to play it. It's actually amazing. That's good to know. Breath of the Wild is amazing. You got a tattoo of the Master Sword and Silent Princess flowers because of it. Oh my goodness. That's making me want to play it even more. I really want to play it. <laughs> but yeah, if I were going to either stream it or make videos about it, I would need a capture card. So kind of putting it off for a little bit, but one of the Twitch streamers that I follow, she is a lore keeper for Zelda. She loves Breath of the Wild, and on every one of her streams, she has a countdown to the next Zelda game. I forget what it's called, um, but it's like 120 days away or something. So every time I see that counter, I'm like, that's how long I have to finish Breath of the Wild. <laughs> You love Life is Strange, but can't wait for the new Pokemon games. Yeah, I played a couple Pokemon games as a kid, but I haven't really played any since. Um, I played a little bit of Pokemon Go when it was like initially having all of the hype. I know people still play it, um, but like back when it first came out, I played a little bit of it. But Pokemon, uh, uh, Pokemon, oh my goodness, Pokemon, 
what is it? Violet and Scarlet? Either just came out or are coming out in the next few days. I'm not sure if I'll get them or not. Your Xbox equivalent to Breath of the Wild is Immortals. Phoenix Rising. Interesting. I don't think I've heard of that. You have Breath of the Wild, but haven't played it much because... Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. Um... I'm really not like a gamer gamer, okay? Like I can do stuff like this uh, where the stakes are low, um, but I can't even really play Kingdom Hearts. I, I had bought the entire collection of Kingdom Hearts game on my PlayStation because I wanted to play them because I'm a huge Disney fan, but I started playing and I was just having such a hard time. And then my partner uh, was like, the games are great. Like, I'll coach you through it, but I still am having such a hard time. I've played, like, I think I made it to Neverland in the first Kingdom Hearts. And I was like, you know what? I can't beat Shadow Sora, so I'm just going to put this game aside for now and pick it up later. <laughs> you can't wait for the new Zelda game. You honestly really hope that I play Breath of the Wild. It's one of your all-time favorites, and you're a cozy game girl. That's good to know. It seems like a couple people are interested in it, which makes me like more like consider it more. Um, Cause like I said, I don't really game too much outside of streaming now. Um, so if people would be interested in it, that's definitely more of a, of an incentive for me to pick it up. Scarlet and Violet come out November 18th. Okay, cool. Yeah, I knew it was soon. I just didn't know if it had come out already or if it was kind of coming up. Um, you all probably know. For Scarlet and Violet, are they two, like, different, um, just, like, editions of the same game? Are they two different games that are, like, a set? How does that work? I'm not up to date on, like, Pokemon news or lore or anything like that. Um, Phoenix was made by Ubisoft as a branch off of Assassin's Creed takes place in the Isle of the Greek Gods. Wow. Where do you buy hair from Scrooge? Um, so hair from Scrooge is going to be on the left side of the shop. It's probably going to be easier if I show you. Just give me a second. I'll show you. It's not going to be there every day. Um, compared to the amount of clothing items that there are, there really aren't that many hair items that you get from Scrooge. So you might go days and days and days or maybe even weeks without seeing any. Um, you have all Kingdom Hearts games. You beat all but Birth by Sleep. Nice. Yeah, my partner loves the Kingdom Hearts games. He's played all of them. Um, And I'm sure I would love them if I didn't have such a hard time. So this is where the hairs are going to be. There are usually... Rosemary? Remy is so loud for a rat. There are usually going to be like four items on this shelf here. And uh, if there's a hair for sale, it's going to be there. But like I said, there aren't very many of them. So um, you might not see one every day. Or even every week or two weeks or whatever. Um... And you need to finish Dream Drop Distance and Melody of Memory. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, also, the music in Kingdom Hearts is so beautiful. I love when games have good music. Like, I feel like this game has good music. Coral Island has beautiful music. Kingdom Hearts has amazing music. But I'm also a little worried about if I were to try to play that. Because um, I feel like the copyright is probably really strict with it. And so far, I haven't had any copyright issues. I probably don't even need all of these onions either, to be honest. What's on everyone's agenda for the rest of the day? I typically don't really do much on Sundays. Um, it's almost evening for me here where I live. Um, so I usually just spend Sunday evenings like relaxing. Usually my partner and I will make dinner together. Um, tonight I'm going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons, which should be fun. I play every Monday, but we couldn't play last week because somebody was out of town. 
So this week we're having a, um, like a twofer. So we're going to be playing tonight and tomorrow night, which should be fun. Yeah, copyrights on Kingdom Hearts. I know. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm like scared of. I'd have to find like a royalty free playlist to play in the background or something. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I've told this story. I think I might have on another stream, but one of my brothers is in elementary school um, and he lives in Hawaii with my parents. But um, for the summer, he came and stayed here with me and my sister and my partner. And he one day when I came home from work, just told me out of the blue, like, guess what I did today? And I was like, well, what? What did you do today? He's like, I made a YouTube channel. And I was like, um, OK, that's exciting. <laughs> and he had made a YouTube channel where he was making anime edits. And the poor thing, he's a kid. He doesn't really understand. He would like make all of these anime edits and they were really good, but he would use like copyrighted music. So he kept getting these copyright strikes on his channel and then his channel got taken away, <laughs> but he, he's over it, he's fine. But it was just really cute. And also like one of those things where I was telling him, I was like, you need to not use this music in your videos. Hey there. Um, honestly, just playing Dreamlight Valley all night, currently fighting a sinus infection. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I occasionally get really bad sinus infections and ear infections, oh. and I wouldn't wish them on my worst enemy. They're so painful. Uh, just cleaning your place tonight. Fall clean before winter sets in fully. Good for you. I wish I... <laughs> <laughs> had the motivation to do something like that. I don't currently, but if I find it, I'll let you all know. Um, it's 9.45 now, so time to get ready for bed after your stream. Yes, yes, yes. Good for you for tucking in early tonight. Um, you get Sundays and Mondays off, so that's my weekend. Nice. It's 10 p.m. where you are, so watching this and playing this game. Nice. Sounds like everybody's just having a cozy time in... Got some people being productive. And poor Aaron with the sinus infection. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I probably need to clean up my house a little bit. We um, are in the US, so we celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, celebrate is a little bit dramatic. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but we use Thanksgiving as an excuse to make a nice big meal and get together. Um, I wouldn't say we necessarily have the spirit of the holiday per se but that's neither here nor there uh but my sister one of my sisters is in college uh she goes to school in florida and she's going to be coming to stay with me um my partner and i and my sister all live together so my other sister's coming in and we're going to be having thanksgiving together so we like already got our turkey um but i need to kind of get everything order for when she gets here she'll be staying with us i think for a whole week which will be really nice Oh, Aaron, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you have any like specific, is this like a recurrent thing for you that happens a lot or is it kind of like out of the blue kind of thing? Oh, Pua's like <laughs> pushing Wally out of the way. He's like, would you move? You've had sinus infections too, and you really hope Aaron feels better. Yeah, we're all sending you lots of love, Aaron. I feel like even when I don't have sinus infections, I have really bad allergies. Like, I feel like my voice is always a little bit nasally, but today I feel like it's giving even more nasally, and it's because my allergies are acting up. Um, so yeah. Always sinus problems, but when it's a sinus infection, oof, rough, rough. No, it was out of the blue. I had to go to urgent care and get antibiotics. Thank you for all the love. No worries. Do you have like a steamer? Like either a facial steamer or like a humidifier or something? Or even just like a hot compress? Those can all be really nice to kind of help with some of the discomfort. It's 2.48 p.m. for you right now, and you have to clean your place if you can get off of the game. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You're in Western Canada, so it 
uh, Thanksgiving was last month. For you, it's more of a harvest festival. That's really cool. I think I had heard of that before, but um, I don't know that much about Canada, to be honest. I used to live, I've lived a lot of places. I've lived so many places, but um, for a few years, I lived in Washington state, pretty close to the Canadian border. Um, but we never actually went to Canada. But yeah, I feel like a lot of holidays, I, I don't know if this is like all over. I feel like it might be. But a lot of holidays in the US are more just like, for a lot of people, they're like excuses to kind of get together and have a good time. They're not necessarily always taken in the spirit of the of the holiday, I guess. What, this is the wrong place. Although I can put away this uh, topaz, I think. Hot compress, uh, that in a neti pot. It feels weird at first, but the neti pot is a lifesaver. Absolutely, you do what you gotta do for the win. Harvest festivals in Ireland too, ooh. Do you all have um, traditions either for uh, your Canada Thanksgiving or your Irish um, harvest festivals? All right, let's put this away. I'm also curious because Ireland is pretty small, like geographically. Canada is a lot larger geographically, kind of like the US is. Do you find that holidays are kind of celebrated differently depending on where you are in the country? Because uh, I've noticed that holidays can be celebrated pretty differently across the US depending on where you are. Go ahead and pick up the rest of these fruits. And then we'll probably check Moana's boat once more to make sure we got all the fish. about moving all of these trees somewhere else. I do really like having them together. Um, I thought I would hate it because I'd kind of seen some people set up an orchard, but I tried to arrange mine in a way where it like, at least I've got the trellises around, so it looks like it's intentional. And I like that everything's kind of, um, kind of mixed in with each other. Like it's not just all of the trees of one kind. And then all of the bushes of another kind. I feel like it looks a little bit more natural this way. But I kind of want to move it out of the plaza. I don't know where I want to move it to, though. Um, in Ireland, you bring lots of uh, fresh and canned or dried food into church. And after the harvest, it's given to those who need it. That's really lovely. Oh, yes. I had already forgotten what I just said I was going to do. The answer is go and see if Moana has more fish for us. Oh, and somehow we managed to miss this one. I just clearly did not have my observant glasses on when we were going around from biome to biome cleaning up. Do the colorful trees drop wood? They do not. Those are all the fruit trees um, from around the valley. Uh, the pink ones were the cherry ones. When you send long messages, can I read it all or does it get cut off? So I can usually see it for a couple seconds if I look I like quickly no enough, but can. the bot deletes it then. So I'm gonna, after I get off of stream, adjust the settings. Cause I think it's set up like that to prevent people from spamming like really long messages but it's a little bit too restrictive right now. Um, like the messages that I've seen get deleted were not too long. 
So I'm going to see if I can adjust the settings when I get off of stream so that it won't keep happening. Okay, let's sell this. And these. Uh, this Thanksgiving is going to be weird. It's your first Thanksgiving in Ohio. Moved here from California almost a year ago. Oh my goodness. Ohio from California is a big move. Uh, yeah, the weather is very different uh, depending on where you were in California. But that's exciting. Um, Pittsburgh, where I used to live, isn't too far from Ohio. So I drove into Ohio a couple times. Uh, one time for a music festival and one time because I needed to take like a, a class and for some reason it wasn't being offered anywhere in Pittsburgh. Um, you didn't know what could come from trees. How does that work? Yeah. So um, in the game, like these trees here, for instance, these like small bushy boys, they drop wood. And then any tree in any biome can drop wood. Like this softwood here is from this tree. Um, the type of wood that drops is dependent on the biome. So like if you go to the forest, for instance, when you pick up wood, it's either going to be hardwood or softwood. When you go up to the frosted heights, it's going to be hardwood, softwood, or dry wood, and so on and so forth. So it doesn't matter what kind of trees you put in each biome. Um, it's just going to drop whatever wood is like um, naturally found in that biome. But yeah, so I know a lot of people have done things like, especially in the Forgotten Lands, we can actually go over there and try to pick up a bit of, a bit of dark wood in the Forgotten Lands where things are really like bunched together and it's dark and hard to see. People will remove all of their trees except for like eight of them. I think eight is like gonna optimize the amount of wood that drops. And then they'll just like make a little forest area with those eight trees where they can go and pick up their wood so they don't have to run all over the biome to do it. Um, you have lots of people who use food banks and you give to those in church too. Does the USA have food banks? We do have food banks. And I think um, in the places and communities where I've lived, uh, the holidays are definitely a time where people tend to feel a little bit more giving. Um, so I know a lot of people and families who will volunteer on Thanksgiving instead of having like their own Thanksgiving at home, they'll go and work at like a food kitchen um, or they'll donate to a food bank. Um, we definitely have those. And I'd say it's more of a, of a common thing for people to spend their time there or donate there during the holidays and not. You definitely had to learn to drive in the snow quite quickly, yeah. That's, that's a big change. The good thing though is um, everyone else who lives in Ohio is really comfortable driving in snow. So you're not gonna have to worry about other people um, like driving all crazy. Uh, no traditions in prairie region of Canada. The East Coast has the Viking ships that predate Columbus, so different traditions there. Interesting. You need more dry wood, not getting it fast enough. Yeah. Dry wood is, is tricky, but not nearly as hard as dark wood. Thanks, you're really struggling to find hardwood for Minnie's Clock Tower Quest. Yeah, hardwood is in the glade, um, in the forest, um, in the Forgotten Lands, and... Uh, does it drop in sunlight? Also, if any of you are ever unsure where to find things, uh, I'm sure some of you know this already, but some of you may not. Um, in the collections tab, when you go and kind of hover over everything, it'll tell you exactly where you need to, f like where you can find it. So hardwood can be found in the Forgotten Lands, the Frosted Heights, Sunlit Plateau, Glade of Trust, and Forest of Valor. Yeah, I really think this is a nice feature that they added. Um, it makes playing the game so much easier to just be able to hover over whatever you need. I also like that, um, I think I only have one meal that I haven't figured out. Um, I really like in the meals, how even if you don't know it, if you hover over it, oh, I do know this one, but if you hover over it, it'll show um, how many ingredients you need to make it. So that makes it easier to kind of try to experiment to figure out recipes.
There's a story of an Irish monk who traveled to the Americas before Christopher Columbus. Interesting. Yeah, I'm so into, um, I'm pretty into like history, geography, anthropology, uh, sociology, all of the ologies. <laughs> um, I really like learning about like different places, um, probably because I've lived like a lot of different places, mostly in the US, but I like learning about like different traditions from different places, where they come from, what different holidays mean to different people, that kind of thing. I think it's really interesting. St. Brendan. Interesting. I'm not familiar with that. I'll have to look it up. All right. I think we're probably going to wrap up the stream. Can I get this flower? I hate how flowers kind of populate back here. I think I've placed Scar's house in a strategic location where I can mostly reach everything, but yeah. Um, you're colorblind, so it's a struggle trying to finish out, figure out fish recipes in-game since they're not labeled. Oh, yeah, and a lot of them have the same art, which is pretty difficult. My friends, the trolls, would love you. But yeah, I think this is actually where we're going to wrap up for this stream. Um, let me exit out of the game right quick. Um, thank you all so much for joining me. I have such a great time chatting with you all. I will be streaming again tomorrow. I stream every... Um, every sunday through wednesday at 2 p.m eastern standard time whatever that is in your time zone tomorrow i'll be playing coral island i think for now i'm going to be alternating every other day so i'll be back in dreamlight valley probably on tuesday um but i'll be playing coral island tomorrow so definitely come join in if you're interested in seeing a little bit about that game or just hanging out and having a good time um uh, another community post will be going out i think tomorrow about the video I'm working on where I need some photographs from you lovely community members. But um, until I see you next time, have a great rest of your day, um, morning, evening, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next one.